Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a image or picture transparent. The idea is that when a picture is transparent, never matter what the background, uh, the image will blend into the background. And most of the time the transparent image is in PNG format, so we are going to take this logo as an example. Uh, this picture has a white background and the image uh, has a black outline. You can use this method on any image or picture. So to do this on the phone, if you haven't done yet, you'll have to install a free app which is called Adobe Photoshop Mix. So you can download this for free on the App Store. The only thing you have to do is register for an Adobe account in case you haven't done yet, but it's free. So you can, you just have to register on the Adobe website and then you can log into the free Photoshop Mix app. So here is the example I already done, which has a transparent background. You know, you can see that because the background is like a checkboard, is gray and white checkboard. So let's start with the image with, from the beginning with the white background. You just click on uh, the plus sign in the corner, tap on image, and then tap on my phone to open the image which you have stored in the photos. Click all photos and then choose the image that you want to edit. So now we are in the main editing window of Photoshop Mix. Now you have to tap on cut out and then you can choose among the tools in the lower bar, you just select Smart and then you can tap on Subtract. Then now you can go use two fingers to zoom in. Then you just use your finger to subtract the area that you want to make transparent. Oh, well, there I did a mistake, so I don't want to do that. So I just press the undo, and then I zoom in, and then I can do it properly. And then zoom out again for the big parts, and then zoom in again, and then zoom in for the smaller bits, zoom out. For the big parts, you can zoom all the way out. Then small zoom in for the details. So when you zoom out, the smart tool will be less detailed. So it will be able to do a bigger area transparent but if you want to make small areas transparent you have to zoom in so that the tool gets more fine so it will be able to adapt to the image better so that's it now we have a transparent image so whatever background you want to put behind this image it will come through or also when you want to put it on a website or in this case I use this logo to superimpose on the YouTube video as a logo in the corner of the video they suggest to make a transparent image so now that is uh, transparent all you have to do is tap on the check mark and then you can Press the share button on top and save it to your camera roll.
and you're done. And you go back to uh, photos and you'll see it, the photo in your camera roll. And the way you know that it's transparent is that if you watch it in full screen, the image will turn uh, dark and you will only see uh, the light outlines of the image. Then when you go back into browsing mode, it will be white again. That's how you know it's a transparent image in photos. All right, hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.